Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm testing Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. This video is a viewer request. I've had some friends ask me to test this, as well as my viewer, Nancy. Nancy writes, Would you be able to test Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner Lemon Scent? I think it would be cool to compare name brands with the Great Value brand to justify cost, price, versus effectiveness. So in order to test how well this Grave Value Multipurpose Cleaner removes bacteria from my home, what I'm gonna do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab various areas around my home, including my kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. I'm gonna place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean the areas according to the Grave Value directions. Swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. This way we're going to be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before and after cleaning with the Great Value Spray. So let's read the bottle and see how we're supposed to use it. So right on the front here it says Great Value Lemon Scent Multipurpose Cleaner kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Okay, then on the back, let's look at the directions to clean and disinfect hard, non-porous surfaces. Spray product four to six inches from the surface until thoroughly wet. Allow the surface to remain visibly wet for 10 minutes. Rinse or wipe clean. Now, for surfaces that may contact food, you need to rinse it with water after the 10 minute contact time. So that's what we'll do. We'll spray, let it sit for 10 minutes, wipe, and then swab again for after. So let's see how well the Great Value Multipurpose Spray removes bacteria from my home. Now for some results. So before I get into the results, I do wanna let you know something. So this has a 10 minute sit time, right? So the surface has to remain wet with the product for 10 minutes according to its directions. However, my surfaces started to look dry after about six minutes, so I had to respray and reapply this product at about the six minute mark in order to get a full 10 minutes of wet contact time. The kitchen sink. In the before section, there's a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, you can probably see one visible colony there pretty well. There's a couple of others that are a little harder to see on the photograph. But we can see a tremendous decrease in bacteria from the before and the after. So the Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner did a great job removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. There most certainly is a decrease. However, there's still quite a bit of bacteria still there. So the Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner did an okay job at decreasing the bacteria in my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still quite a bit of bacteria hanging around. So the Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner does an okay job at decreasing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Great Value Multipurpose Cleaner did an excellent job at removing the bacteria 
from my toilet rim. Great Value Multi-Surface Cleaner does an okay job at removing the bacteria around my home. It struggled a bit in the bathroom sink and that kitchen sink drain, but did pretty good in the kitchen sink and the toilet rim. And to the viewers who are curious if just wiping with the paper towel removed bacteria, I do have a video where I tested just water and paper towels, and I'll link that in the description below so you can see how much bacteria is removed from just the mechanical cleaning of a paper towel. My viewers had asked me to test this great value spray because it's the generic version of the Lysol spray. I wanna point out some key differences between these two sprays. Now on the labels, it looks like they're very, very, very similar active ingredients, but the directions for use are different. One of the bigger differences is the sit time. The sit time for the great value spray is 10 minutes. Having a surface remain wet with the solution for 10 minutes. But for the Lysol product, it says remain visibly wet uh, 10 seconds for sanitizing and two minutes for disinfecting. And I believe when I tested this one, I have a video for it, I'll put in the description below. I think I just did the 10 second time on it. Anyway, the point is they do have different sit times. There's also a price difference. At my Walmart, the Great Value Spray costs $2.97 for a 32 ounce bottle. The exact same Walmart to get the Lysol version of this, it's $3.97 for a 32 ounce bottle. So the Great Value version is $1 less than the Lysol version at my Walmart. As for the scent of the product, it's lemon scent, and it's that fake chemical type lemon scent that a lot of these cleaners have. Um, it most certainly was not a pleasant scent. I did cough when I sprayed it. I put the fans on in the bathroom. Not a pleasant scent. Um, it is a very chemical laden uh, lemon type scent. The scent does not linger, so after the surface was dry, I didn't notice the scent at all. I'm sure there's gonna be a handful of viewers that comment telling me, well, I'm not gonna wait 10 minutes, so can you just do a video where you're just gonna spray and wipe it like everybody uses it? No, I won't do that. I follow directions on the bottles when I'm doing these tests because that's how the manufacturer has decided that this product should be used. So if you want to use this product in your home, you have to follow the directions, which is keep the surface wet for 10 minutes. And that might even mean respraying halfway through. Although I am curious to see if you could do the 10 second time. I'm curious just like you are, I just really try to follow what the manufacturers say to use the product because one of the things I actually hate about cleaning products and cleaning product like groups is when people give anecdotal advice about using products in ways they're not supposed to be used. The prime example I can give you guys is toilet bowl cleaner. If you're on any Facebook group right, that is for cleaning products, and someone's like, oh, I'm having a hard time cleaning my shower floor, and you start seeing people, oh, use the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, use the Zep toilet bowl cleaner. Ugh, oh, I hate that. I do not like when people use products that are formulated and labeled to be used for a very specific way, and then take them and use them in a different way. So that's one of the reasons why I do try to follow whatever the directions say. In this case, it's a 10 minute sit time, although I'm curious too to see if you could do a 10 second time. But overall, I do think the Great Value Spray did an okay job. So thank you to the viewers who asked me to do this test. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.